So how do you take a leap of faith and trust God when he's asking you to do something new? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. What's up, everybody? I'm Ronnie from Ronnie and Mel. And on this channel, we give you weekly tools and inspiration to help you find God and walk with him in your daily life. So if that's something you need, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. So if you didn't hear, Mel started our own podcast, and it's called Mornings with Mel. It's a Monday through Friday daily devotional for those seeking to know God, love Jesus, and live their life with Christ. Each episode, she takes a passage of scripture and teaches on it, and then she helps you apply it to your own life. They're only about 10 minutes long, so it's a great way to start off your day on the right foot. So we wanted to give you guys our family here on YouTube a little taste of Mornings with Mel to see if you guys want to add it to your daily life with God. And if you enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and write her a review and be sure to share it with your friends. And without further ado, here's Mel's episode entitled, When God Calls You Out of the Boat. Welcome to the Mornings with Mel podcast, where every morning, Monday through Friday, we open up God's Word together and seek to know God, love God, and live our life for Christ. I am your host, Melissa Feist. And welcome back to the Mornings with Mel podcast. And the passage that we're going to go through today is Matthew 14, 28 to 33. And I'm going to have to give you a little bit of backstory on this. So what is happening in this passage is Jesus and the disciples were just up on this mountain. They were preaching all day. They were doing ministry to these crowds all day long. And Jesus told his disciples to get on the boat and go ahead before him. And instead, he went up on the mountain to pray. And so he was with his father. He was praying all night. His disciples, they're out in the sea. They're on the boat by themselves and they're all sleeping. But when Jesus comes to them, he's walking on the water because that's just what Jesus does. He's God. He can do whatever he wants. He's walking on the water and they think that they're seeing a ghost. And so they're super afraid and they're like, Jesus, is that you? And he's like, yeah, it's me. And so here is where we jump into the story. It says this, Lord, if it's you, Peter answered him, command me to come to you on the water. And so Jesus says, come. And climbing out of the boat, Peter started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the strength of the wind, he was afraid, and he began to sink and cry out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus reached out his hand, caught hold of him, and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those that were in the boat worshipped him and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. And I love this story. First off, I just love Peter. I don't know about you guys, but I so resonate with Peter and with his personality and with his, watch me, Jesus, I'm going to be awesome for you. But then he just always comes up against his weakness and fails, but Jesus loves him anyway. That is me to a T. And so the first thing that I want to point out is that Peter is taking a huge leap of faith when he decides to jump out of the boat. Because think of it, if we want to consider what the boat represents. The boat is like our comfort zone. It's what we know. It's where we're comfortable. It's where in the physical, we control everything and we don't have to worry about things. The boat is the place of our known secure safety. And a lot of us like that place, but all of a sudden Jesus invites Peter to get out of that place of safety, to get out of that place of comfort and to trust him. And I think Jesus is sometimes inviting us in our little lives, in our little circumstances to get out of the boat and to trust him for where he's calling us next. Like, I don't know what's ahead in my podcast life. I don't even know if I have the grace and the strength to 
do it, you know? But I had to just take a leap of faith saying, God, I think that you're inviting me into this place. I like what's comfortable. I like what I know I can do. I like just chilling in my normal, comfortable life. I don't really want to jump out of the boat. I don't want to try something new that I could fail at. I don't want to have to trust you in the unknown and the uncertain. But sometimes we just have to get out of the boat. But then what happens? As soon as Peter gets out of that boat, the winds come. And there's actually this quote, it's not in the Bible, so it's not technically biblical, but I think it's a true principle. It says, new levels, new devils. Meaning as soon as you try and go to a new level of following God, of serving God, whatever it is, there are going to be things that come your way to test you to try and make you go back. And what did the winds do? It got him to stop focusing on the strength of Jesus and instead got focused on the strength of the wind. And because of it, he was afraid and he started drowning. And how often does that happen in our life? We take a leap of faith and we we try and do something for God or we, you know, try and start some ministry or start some podcast, whatever it is, we take a leap of faith and then something happens, some storm happens, some wind happens. And I don't know about you, but for me, my tendency is always to want to run back to the boat. Like, oh, this place is unknown and scary. And right now, all I can focus on is this wind that I don't like. Get me back to the place of safety. Get me back to the place that I know feels safe and comfortable. I don't like it out here. But instead of running back to the boat, Jesus is asking us to start reaching out to him because that's what Peter does. Once he's drowning, he finally calls out to the Lord and he says, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus came and grabbed him out of the water. And I think sometimes we're drowning and we're trying to figure it out on our own. We're trying to like paddle and keep ourselves afloat when we could just say, Lord, help me. And immediately he would be there to help. And so let's remember that God is stronger than any of the waves in our life. God is stronger than any of those winds. And that when we take a leap of faith and we get out of that boat, he's not going to let us drown. All we have to do is trust him keep our eyes on him. And if we get distracted by the wind a little bit, guess what? We can call out to him for help because he is stronger than any storm that can come our way. So what's your story today? Is Jesus inviting you to get out of the boat, to take a leap of faith and trust him in something that's unknown, something you haven't done before? Ask him today if there's something that he's inviting you to trust him in. Or you're like Peter and like me, where you did step out, but now you feel like you're drowning and all you want to do is run back to the boat, run back to that place of safety, run back to the comfort that you know. Either way, spend some time talking it over with Jesus and trust him that he will never let you drown. Let's be ones that focus on him and his strength rather than focus on the wind and their strength. Because remember, The wind and the waves obey him, and he has control over everything in our life. So let's trust him today. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you today that we can trust you. Lord, that when you invite us to get out of that boat, God, that you will make a way. Lord, I pray for my friends, and I lift them up to you today. God, I ask that you would make it clear if you are inviting them to get out of their place of comfort, to get out of their place of security and come after you. God, would you give them the strength to say yes? God, and I ask that you would give us the strength to continue to lock gaze with you, to be rooted and grounded in knowing your strength. God, so that when the winds and the waves come our way, that we don't begin to drown like Peter did. God, and I ask that when those winds, when those waves come, Lord, that we don't draw back in fear, that we don't try and run back to what's comfortable, but God, that we would continue to trust you and that we would ask you to help us because Lord, you are the helper. You have sent the Holy Spirit to help us. God, and you will not let us drown. So God, we thank you that we can trust you. We thank you that you're faithful. God, and we thank you that you are stronger than those winds, whether it be the winds of accusation, the winds of the opinions of others, the winds of just our own fears and our own uncertainties. 
God, we trust you today. Help us to follow you, to get out of that boat, and to keep our gaze on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for listening to Mornings with Mel. If you are loving this podcast, make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. And we would love to hear how God is touching your heart in the review section. Also, if you think it might help someone you know, make sure to share it. And don't forget to tag us in at at Ronnie and Mel on Instagram so we can see who's listening. We are a nonprofit and couldn't do this podcast without our ministry partners. So to give, you can go to ronnieandmel.com slash giving or support our mission through our Christian clothing line at markedcollective.com. And for lots more free content and resources to help you find God and walk with Him, make sure to check out our website, ronnieandmel.com or our YouTube channel, Ronnie and Mel. All that information is linked in the show notes, and as always, keep seeking Him.